So how does alcohol impact blood pressure? And is its effect the same for everyone? How much alcohol is too much anyway? Hi, my name is Kweku, I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'll be addressing the issue of how drinking alcohol affects blood pressure. Before we continue, let's address what I believe is the most fundamental question, which is, does alcohol truly elevate blood pressure? Well, the answer is generally yes for most people. However, people don't all react to alcohol in the same way. After drinking, some might experience a greater increase in their blood pressure than others. Now, this could be due to a number of factors, things like their genetics or how healthy they generally are. Now, the exact mechanism by which alcohol raises blood pressure is not entirely known. However, alcohol can cause several physiological responses that affect blood pressure. For example, alcohol can damage the inner lining of the blood vessels, which, they, which makes them less elastic and more prone to narrowing and inflammation. Alcohol can also stimulate the nervous system and release stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which can increase the heart rate and blood vessel constriction. Now, we all know that constricted blood vessels can lead to an increase in blood pressure. Alcohol can also lead to an increased calcium levels in the cells, which causes blood vessels to narrow and contract. Matter of fact, this mechanism is the exact opposite of medications that are used to manage high blood pressure called calcium channel blockers, the poster child of which is amlodipine. So amlodipine and other calcium channel blockers work by inhibiting calcium ions from entering into the cells and thereby the blood vessels are dilated. You have alcohol giving you the opposite effect influencing or promoting the influx of calcium ions into the cells. And then what happens? Constriction of blood vessels, which ultimately leads to an increase in blood pressure. Now, to make matters worse, chronic heavy alcohol consumption can also damage other organs and systems in the body that are involved in regulating blood pressure, such as the heart, the liver, and the brain. Now, for example, Alcohol can weaken the heart muscle and cause irregular heartbeats, something we call arrhythmias, reducing the heart's pumping efficiency and obviously increasing blood pressure. Alcohol can also cause fatty liver disease and cirrhosis, impairing liver function and affecting hormone levels that influence blood pressure. Alcohol can also affect brain function and cognition, impairing decision making and self-control abilities. This can ultimately lead to poor lifestyle choices contributing to high blood pressure. You know, some of these lifestyle choices like smoking, eating unhealthy foods, being physically inactive and even not taking medications as prescribed. The American Heart Association recommends limiting alcohol intake to one drink per day for women and not, and up to two drinks per day for men to help manage blood pressure. Now, this is generally referred to as moderate drinking. Now, a standard drink is 12 ounces of beer and five ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of 80 proof distilled spirits. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know what 80 proof distilled spirits is, but I know it means something to somebody who's watching. Now, research shows that having more than three drinks in one sitting temporarily raises blood pressure. Repeated binge drinking can lead to long-term increases in blood pressure. Now, binge drinking is defined as four or more drinks within two hours for women and five or more drinks within two hours for men. So here's the bottom line, no matter how much you slice or dice it, if you have high blood pressure or you are at risk of developing it, reducing your alcohol intake can help lower your blood pressure and increase your health. Now, there's research to show that heavy alcohol users who cut back to moderate drinking can lower their top number, which is their systolic blood pressure, by about 5.5 millimeters of mercury and their bottom number, their diastolic blood pressure, by about 4 millimeters of mercury. So I hope you found some value in this video. In your description will be links to studies that I referenced whilst preparing this video. Hope you stay blessed and catch you on the next video.